Well, hello, friends. It's good to be with you again tonight. And in these troubled times, I thought I would share with you some songs that would cheer you up and uh, cause you to look to Christ and glory in the gospel. You know, we are living in some difficult times right now. Uh, some uh, health-wise with the virus, uh, that's very scary. Uh, financially, times are very scary for a lot of people. And we should take those things seriously and do all that we can to prepare. And uh, I believe Christians should, should not just dismiss uh, serious issues. They should uh, t to take care of them, and they, they should be sober-minded. The Bible commands us to be that way. But we also should have joy, and the joy of the Lord isn't uh, an easy believism kind of thing, and the joy of the Lord is not something that is merely uh, superficial, or what we call uh, triumphalism, where we're just always yelling praise the Lord and hallelujah no matter what happens. I know that uh, last year when my wife had the stroke, uh, we spent uh, a lot of time grieving this and uh, struggling with the adjustments, and it was difficult, but the joy of the Lord was real way down underneath all the difficulty that was happening. Uh, we knew that Christ had come in the flesh, that He was fully human and fully God, and as a fully human being, He understands our pain and struggles, but as God, He has power over all things, and He is sovereign and is ruling and reigning. And he is still reforming us and making us in his image and changing us. And I believe that's what he's doing through this crisis right now. Uh, he's calling God's people to repent. Many people have trusted in their riches or their, their just, just, we, we just, we're a very affluent society. And I know people who are affluent who are using that for the gospel and who are using that to bless people. But there's also a lot of people who, let's face it, we can't get to church a lot of times because we're so busy indulging the flesh. And there's so many people that need to be served, and uh, yet we are sometimes uh, constantly indulging what we want to do. Uh, that won't bring us ultimate joy, and I believe God is stripping that away and wanting us to rediscover the joy of Him, the joy of Christ, the joy of the Holy Spirit, the joy of uh, our families, and the simple blessings that He's given us. So this song has been on my heart all day, or I should say all afternoon. And so it's out of the red back hymnal. And if you have one of these, turn to number 262. I'm going to play it in the key of D because it's a little bit high in the key of F. And uh, I don't have all the parts. There really needs to be an alto singer, a bass singer, and a tenor singer. So I'm just going to sing all the melody parts. But if you have that hymnal, you join in with me now. And let's sing a glorious song of gospel praise. It's glory for me. My Savior and King, whose praises I sing, is leading my soul every day. Whatever be tied, I'll stay at His side. It's glory for me all the way. It's glory for me. I'm happy and free. So sweetly He keeps me each day. The sunbeams of love from heaven above bring glory for me all the way. Wherever I roam and when I get home, so close to my Savior, I'll stay, for He's my delight by day and by night. It's glory for me all the way. It's glory for me. I'm happy and free. So sweetly He keeps me each day. The sunbeams of love. From heaven above, bring glory for me all the way. It's glory to know as onward I go, I'll see him some wonderful day. No longer I'm sad, I'm pardoned and glad, it's glory for me. It's glory for me, I'm happy and free, so sweetly He keeps me each day. The 
sunbeams of love from heaven above bring glory for me all the way it's glory for me I'm happy and free so sweetly he keeps me each day the sunbeams of love Heaven above, bring glory.